Yo, 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 what is going on guys? Welcome to the video. I hope you're all having a great day so far. Uh, first of all, just wanted to say a massive thank you to all you crazy mother truckers out there who have been dropping subs, dropping likes, dropping comments. We've hit over a thousand subs in like a month and a half, which is absolutely bonkers. But thank you so much. We've already nearly overtaken my Twitch, so it's absolutely crazy. Um, but in today's video, I just want to show you guys how to unlock credits within Rocket League. Now, I know most of you probably think you already know the answer to this. However, I'm going to be showing you guys the main way that you probably know, and then we're going to be showing you a different way where we can potentially unlock credits without spending our cold, hard-earned cash money business, okay? Uh, so if this video is helpful, if you enjoy it, please drop a like, please drop a sub. It really, really does help out. Say hello in the comments. If I missed anything, you've got any questions, drop them in the comments. Uh, come on over to Twitch, twitch.tv slash successful geezer. Much love, everyone. Let's get into the video. Alright everybody, so now we're at the main Rocket League menu. The first and the easiest way to get credits is going to be simply to go over here, click the item shop, and then have a look down at the bottom of the screen there and you'll see it says buy credits. So credits are very similar to uh, Fortnite V-Bucks or Call of Duty COD points, but within Rocket League. So now Rocket League is free to play. Their main way of making money in this game is through credits and through people buying skins and things like that. Um, so it's very similar to those other games you're probably quite familiar with. However, those other games didn't have a way to unlock these credits for free without actually physically spending money on stuff. Now with Rocket League, there is a different way that I'm going to show you imminently. It does take uh, a bit more work. It does take like a lot of grinding in the game, but I'm assuming a lot of you guys do that anyway. First of all, guys, if you do happen to spend anything in the item shop, if you buy any credits, anything like that, if you go ahead and click uh, support, and then pop in the code successful geezer it really really helps me out guys if you could go ahead and pop that code in if you do need to buy anything i'd really really appreciate it but yeah let's get into the next part and i'll show you guys how to get it without physically spending some cold hard-earned cash money let's go okay guys so the first step of this is to go ahead and click garage and then go down to manage inventory now i'm assuming a lot of you guys probably have a bunch of crap in here that you think you're never going to use you've got loads of uncommons and rares and stuff you're never going to use they're not much worth barely anything by themselves so what we're going to do first of all a really important thing to see is in the top right hand corner of most of these items here you can see this weird sort of clock like symbol uh, it basically means not tradable. If we go and have uh, have a look um, just to the, the right of my head here, we can see it says not tradable. Um, so what we want to do there is click show filters, go to quality, and then click uncommon, because common items are not tradable. Now, not all items are tradable. It depends on things like how you got them and things, but it will say not tradable in the corner. So what something really, really cool about Rocket League that you guys may not have known is that say for example we click the chick magnet here i've got six of them so i've got six chick magnets right here it says i've got six so five of these i just don't need there's no reason for me to have them so what i can do i can put them all in this trade-in thing here so when i click accept what this will do is it will destroy these five items that are an uncommon rarity and it will bump it up and crease it to into a rare decal so now i unlocked a dominus rare decal so that's really, really cool. And we can do this with everything. For example, I've got these chainsaws. I don't need them. Let's put a couple of chainsaws in them. They don't have to be all the same item. It can be whatever. I can put a chef's hat in there. I can put the regular chainsaw or a blue chainsaw, whatever I want to put in here. And then we can trade that up again. And now if you guys have seen where this is going, we can keep going up the tier list with this. So if you guys want, get rid of all your uncommons to start with, all the ones you're never going to use. Because I look at all these freaking stupid fire helmets. Bah. I'm never going to use these. I'm literally never going to use these. So let's slam these in here. And again, accept, trade. It's very, very easy, but it is quite time consuming. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of all my uncommons. And then we'll go from rares and we'll go up from there. So after we've traded in all of our uncommon items, we then want to go ahead, do the same thing, except we want to head and go ahead and click rare items. Go ahead, pop these in here. Boom. Well, we've got a couple of pigeons. We've got one rainbow. I might keep one rainbow and a sad strawberry. So sad. So then once we trade in these rare items, we will then get a very rare item instead, which is very cool. And then what we want to head to go do is clear filters, show them. We then want to go ahead and click very rare. So now we want to trade in a very rare item. Boom. Let's just chuck a couple of those in. 
Uh, we don't need one of these. We don't need both of those actually because I never used that car. Once we trade in a very rare item, we will get to the import. So boom, look at that. I just got a Crimson Mag. Would have rather it been a Crimson Fennec, to be honest with you. Because <laughs> I know that's worth way more. But we'll take a Crimson Merc for the minute. But do you see what I mean? By trading in, in all these other items, you've got potential to get items that are worth a lot. Which you can then trade in and sell without actually having to spend any money. This is just from grinding the game I've got all these items, okay? So, uh, yeah. I want to go ahead and make sure I've got enough. And then we can do an import and hopefully trade up to a black market. Okay, so give me one sec. I got some sad news guys, so I traded up a bunch of my items to exotic, I was like yeah look at this I got six exotics I can trade them up and get one black market, however these two on the left here are non-tradable so I can't use these with the rest of these to actually trade up to a black market, it's not the end of the world I've just got to play a little bit more Rocket League, I'll unlock a bunch of items soon so I can trade them all up and I can get the black market. But the whole idea of this video was to show you guys how to get credits from doing this and from just playing Rocket League and using the rubbish items at the bottom, the uncommons, the rares, to trade up and get really good items. So what I want you guys to do is head to a website called RL Insider. So I'm just going to pull up Google here, RL Insider. I will put the link in the description for this as well, so don't worry. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and select our platform. So I'm going to select PC on here. Uh, I then want you guys to type in, well, I'm going to type in Merc, um, because obviously the Merc is what I got earlier this video. So we can see the Crimson Merc that I unlocked just through uh, trading in a bunch of my stuff is between 150 to 250 credits. Now, this is just one item. I got a bunch of other imports. I've got a bunch of exotics I haven't checked on here as well. So this is the whole idea. I wanted to show you guys that we can get these items that are worth credits that we can trade with people online. Now, I'm going to show you guys another video about how to trade and the details about trading specifically. This video was just to give you an idea about how we can get credits from that. So head to that website. Any cool items you get, let me know in the chat and everything like that. So I hope this video helped you guys understand how we can use our current items to get credits and things in the future. Uh, like I said, I am going to be making another video about trading specifically very, very soon. So once that video is out, I will link it on the screen somewhere. Um, but in the meantime, yeah, trade in a bunch of your items, see what you can get, check how much those items are worth on RL Insider, and there'll be another video up momentarily and showing you guys how to trade, how you can sell these things to other players and actually earn credits that you can then spend on what you want in Rocket League. Once again, if you made it this far, thank you so much for hanging out. I really, really appreciate it. Make sure to drop a like if it helped. Subscribe. Say hello in the comments. Come on over to Twitch. I stream on Twitch six days a week. We're always saying hello, playing with followers, all that good stuff. Uh, thanks so much for hanging out. Twitch.tv slash successful geezer. Peace to easy mother truckers. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much.